welcome to this new part part 14 we are looking at aws solution architect professional certification real certification questions in this part we will look at questions linked with these topics please do not forget to refer parts 1 to 13 of this playlist guys i am in a state of shock today because of uh, i heard this news so suppose you are using aws machine learning to create prediction models so you usually so basically we use machine learning to create prediction models okay so we are dependent upon certain set of parameters trend past trend and etc so if you see shushna sense trend she is very diverse in terms of dating so when your data is this skewed it is very difficult to create right predictions so enough of discussions on prediction let's go to these questions but before you go there please hit the subscribe and the like button it is very important for me to understand whether you like these videos or not otherwise i will change the topic and publish something else so let's jump into this question please do not forget to refer the previous parts for previous questions see you know there is something called cloud hsm so we all know this service why it is used for it is a managed hardware security model so if you want to generate your own encryption keys own encryption keys on aws cloud you can use this service it uses FIPS 140 level 3 validated HSMs to generate the encryption keys. Basically, this is a hardware level encryption. You can also do encryption using uh, Key Vault, AWS Key Vault. And if you want to do it at a hardware level, then you use this service. Now, this service, what it is saying is your application resides in one VPC. Is it necessary that uh, it should be in the same VPC as HSM because for encryption and generating the encryption keys, it will have to go there and access it. So first one says no, but the server or the instance, uh, but the server or instance on which application and HSM client is running must have same network IP reachability. Yes, they both need not be on, on the same VPC. They can be in different VPC as long as there is connectivity, network connection and IPs can be reached, that would be great. B says yes always. So see, this is not a hardcore requirement. Both need not be on same VPC. Third, C says no, but they must reside in the same AC. See, AC doesn't matter. AC does not matter. What matters is if you can still access the service. It's like, you know, your PC and my PC, We it may be in two different locations you are working suppose for infosys bangalore and someone else is working in infosys hyderabad so as long as you guys have network connection you guys can you know reach out to each other through that network so it does not mean that both you and that person has to be in infosys bangalore office it does not mean that same way here your application and cloud hsm they both can be in different vpcs consider just as a layman term consider vpc as your office premises so this is wrong and d says no but it should reside in same az as the db instance see it it can be in same az or it can be in different easy where does db instance come into picture now application may have a db or it may not have a db the, does the question says that it has a db db means database it is not saying so how did option d conclude that oh i will have a db and i will use the same no we cannot so this should be the right answer See, if your I.O. speed, like for some reasons, you want more I.O. speed compared to the fault tolerance. Like if it fails, sometimes that is fine. But I want the top speed. Like in the in your uh, Formula 1 racing, if the car crashes or if the car uh, skids somewhere, I'm fine but I want to operate at top speeds. So for, for that purpose, we have RAID 0 configuration. See, if you are using ABS, no, you have some RAID configuration that you can use. 
okay now there is a whole list rate 0 1 and so on so if you see this documentation it clearly tells you like you can create rate 0 array why when you need high level of performance for what for what for the file system okay in your EBS volumes so you see this use rate 0 when IO performance is of utmost importance we got an answer but just as general knowledge there is also something called rate 5 rate 6 but they say do not use it with Amazon EBS and if you want to know the reasons these are the reasons and here it says RAID 1 is also not recommended because RAID 1 requires more EC2 to EBS bandwidth than non RAID. Okay, so thumb rule if you want high performance, use RAID 0. So, this is the final answer. Now, you may ask, will such simple question come? You will be given a use case. In that use case, they will give you one paragraph of question. But that paragraph would mean that I want high performance. That is all. And you should select an option which has rate 0. They will give you 4 5 options. And uh, the options also will be big, big lines. But you just have to blindly see rate 0 and select. The question can come in this form also. And it can come in a bigger form also. The answer is rate 0 for high performance. Simple. Now, this one is like fill in the blanks. When you were a kid in the school, you used to get fill in the blanks. It's like that only. So, you have AWS resource categories and it's saying AWS dash supports dash environment. So, first one says Beanstalk supports Beanstalk application. No, oh, so Beanstalk support Beanstalk, it doesn't work, make sense, man. Then it's B says AWS cloud formation supports Beanstalk application and environments. Yes, you can, you know, you can put a resource, like you see as one of the resource categories, you can put Beanstalk as a resource here. Beanstalk will be as a resource here. And cloud formation, you, you can put it in a template and cloud formation will create uh, the service or whatever is required there from an application standpoint. So this looks correct. C says you use Beanstalk to support cloud formation. So, so reverse is not possible. See, Beanstalk is not supporting cloud formation. Using cloud formation, you can create Beanstalk infrastructure. But using Beanstalk, you cannot create cloud formation infrastructure. This is wrong. By the way, what is Beanstalk? Elastic Beanstalk. So you can quickly, quickly deploy and manage applications on AWS cloud without worrying about infrastructure that runs those applications. So basically what it means is what will happen? It will reduce management complexity. It will reduce that and still give you choice and control. You simply upload your application and Elastic Beanstalk automatically handles the details of capacity provisioning. See, many times you put your application on EC2 instances, suppose. Then you say, oh, should I put two EC2 instances? Or should I put four EC2 instances? Or should I put 100 EC2 instances? I don't know. So you put it on Beanstalk. Beanstalk decides it itself. It will do the capacity provisioning. Now, in, with EC2, we choose load balancers. Like, should I use... ALB application load balancer or network load balancer we think of those things but here it will take care of load balancing also in EC2 instance what we do we think okay should I put uh, auto scaling on yes I will put auto scaling on now how many instances should I put what is the minimum instance number of minimum instance number of maximum instance so here you don't have to worry about that also it will it will do the auto scaling itself in EC2 instance, you have to use services, additional services to monitor your infrastructure. Here, application monitoring, health monitoring, it will do it automatically. So, we just saw what Beanstalk is capable of. And cloud formation, we know it is infrastructure 
as a code like it supports infrastructure as a code you can create templates and you can use that template to create infrastructure in development box in set boxes in testing boxes and so on so you get a consistency every time somebody need, need not install everything you just create templates and cascade it across different environments so that will automatically create your ec2 instances your databases synapse or sorry not synapse here in this case it is redshift redshift instances rds instances aurora instances so this would be my final answer Everybody, please hit the subscribe and the like button please this brings us to the end of part 14 do not forget to refer parts 1 to 13 for previous questions in this part we looked at questions linked with these topics this is the fag end of this part see you in the next part